Okay, so for today's assignment in science, Painted Nature, I went out and did what it said and gathered 10 things from outside in nature. I tried to make them 10 different things. And I found a piece of white paper to put them on. Can you tell that those are little seeds? Here's some grass. And my favorite, oh, I think I'm missing one. Here's some moss, love moss. There's a shell, oh, and here was this super tiny little seedling looking thing. Okay, and then I got some tape, and it said to tape it or glue it down. And I was just going to, I, I don't know, tape pieces and parts down. And then it said to color it. Now, not exactly sure how I'm going to color when I tape over, but you know what? Now I'm wondering, do I have, are all of these things on my paper living? <laughs> that looks kind of funny. <laughs> or are they non-living? What do you think? Living or non-living? How many living things did you get? How many non-living things did you get? Uh-oh, broke my stick. That's all right. Look, good thing about taping things down, I can just tape it back together again. Ta-da! Get back over there, you little leaf. Okay, I can't wait to see your creations. Maybe you decided to tape it differently than me. Because you could. Maybe you tape it all together to be a sculpture. I don't know. Maybe you taped it onto a grid. Ooh, you get really creative with this. I've got all sorts of ideas now. Some of them include pipe cleaners. That sounds like fun. All right, so now I've got to figure out a way to color it. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. I am going to do one color for living things and one color for non-living things. And I just happen to have some of these super yummy scented markers here. Wait, that's three colors. We should only do two. Living and non-living. Oops, I forgot to do my little moss. Or I could do things that are green and things that are brown. Or I could just make smiley faces all over the place if I want to. Whatever. Let's see. So moss, it was living until I picked it. Actually, it's probably still living for a little bit. Living. Let's see. Grass. Looks like a, aw, looks like a heart. And then a leaf. Ooh, a triangle. Ooh, that looks like a, is that a spade on a card? This is a seed. And I'm doing this because it's got little spiky things sticking out. Ugh, I wish these weren't living, although they are one of the prettiest things out right now. Dandelions. They're all over my yard. I can get lots of those. Let's see. This isn't living, but it was. But I'm going to go with non-living because it fell off the tree. I don't know. Yeah. So then we have, oh, can't do that color. I already did that color. Non-living. You guys get creative. Put them in the categories. Color it how you want. It doesn't have to be living or non-living. We haven't talked about that since the beginning of the year. Do I even have 10 things on here? Has anybody counted yet? Boop. Where's my rock? Boop. Hmm. The seed pod, it looks definitely dead. But I bet you if I opened it up and pulled out the seeds... Wow, I can see how a lot of these things would go either way. But it looks dead. So let's see. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. There's my painted nature living. I colored it living and non-living. All right, can't wait to see what you come up with.